Hello and welcome to a new video on my channel. Today I am building a base game house for you guys. Actually, it's like an 18,000 simoleon space game house but before we jump into it please like and subscribe and comment down below what you want to see me do next also before we start it it's also a tiny house it's not only a base game house but it's tiny so i'm sorry if you hear any background noises this is my rabbit just freaking out because she is running around right now like crazy and i love her so much she's cute anyway so to make this base game house a little bit more interesting, I thought that I would put, you know, glass roof on it and try, I actually debated on putting some rooms in the side where there is only a glass roof, but I, I think it's way too small and it looks weird from the inside and the outside to put something in it. I should have put flowers in it, but my budget wasn't, you know, enough so it took me a while to get the roof right but once I had it I had it and that's great like it does look cool in my opinion I don't know what you think but I think it looks cool it's just a giant triangle and it took me a while to just fiddle with the roof because I didn't want a full glass roof on top I wanted it to be you know just a little sliver of glass roof in the middle and I actually like how it turned out so it's now black and black and then in the middle is a little bit of a glass roof I like how it turned out I think it's very cute and so the glass roof obviously continues down there and I think it is fun I usually never do builds like that because it's way out of my comfort zone. I would usually just, you know, do a tiny little box house and just upload it and that will be it. But this time I limited myself to do a tiny home, a base game home, and only in the budget. I think I had like 18,000 simoleons, so... That's what I am trying to do right now. Did I succeed? Did I not succeed? You'll see in the end, I guess. But um, yeah, I tried to look for windows, which is really hard because I wanted this build to be a little bit modern, but also these huge windows just looked weird. So I had to put smaller windows in because this house is just so tiny that if you put these rounded windows in, it just looks awful it looks weird and I didn't want this entire house to look like black I initially I was like black is great but then I just thought it was way too boring so I put a little different colored brick it's like a grayish white brick and a little red brick or did I change it no I don't think so so the inside is very very tiny you can barely fit anything in and so I know that like the pack the tiny living pack would make it a lot easier, but I didn't want to do it. So it's a tiny base game house. This this bathroom is a two by two bathroom and it doesn't really fit anything in it. But I needed to put like a obviously a shower in it and a toilet because, you know, you have to go to the toilet and you have to have a shower. You have to shower somehow. And only a sink is kind of not really nice. So there's no sink in there, but there will be a sink in the kitchen, which I struggled with a lot too, because I didn't really know where to place the kitchen, but you'll see that in a second. And so, yeah, I miss my rug that I get from Snowy Escape because it's just my favorite rug ever like the little fur rug that I put in every bathroom ever but this will do I think so just a little curtains and I think the bathroom is very very tiny but it looks cute like I imagine somebody living here that just wants the tiny life so bad like somebody who doesn't really want to associate with society and wants to live alone and have their own sweet like spot where they can be all day and do whatever uh, I should have put some gardening tools in there but I totally just am thinking about it right now because I'm weird but yeah it has a kitchen and I really didn't know where to put the kitchen it's a really really big struggle for me sometimes in tiny houses especially because this is like I think 32 tiles right so it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff in a tiny tiny area but what makes it better is those um, bunk beds. 
they make it a lot better because you can literally fit a couch or a desk or whatever underneath it. So it makes it a lot easier to build with that. And yeah, the kitchen would have been easier if I would have been able to use, you know, the new pack with the stovetop and stuff like that separate because you can also cut on a stovetop and stuff but I didn't have that so I just had this tiny little base game thing and I made it work and now it doesn't have a table where you can sit and eat at but it would have been way too cluttered so I'm sorry but it, I still think it turned out really cute you know there's a there's a um, thing there's a there's a fridge, there's a stove, there's everything that you need. There's a bathroom, there's even a, a TV, there's an easel, there's a bed, there's everything that you need and more. I think I even put in a bookshelf and obviously flowers because you can't have enough flowers in your builds. And I just wanted to make it a little, bit, a little bit more cluttered. I didn't really want to make it, you know, minimalistic, although I'm trying to build more minimalistic because I am trying to come out of my comfort zone and build things that I usually don't build. But these are things that I usually don't build. Tiny homes, not my jam. I like smaller homes, not big homes. But yeah, I actually like how this turned out. You say, I also sized down this little thing because I didn't want this curtain that I have everywhere to just dangle on top of the stove. It's kind of like, you know, not great if your curtain's catch fire so whatever I actually like how it turns out so I have put a lot of shelves here to clutter them up a little bit with you know things that you need in the kitchen or things that you need for life in general and um yeah I didn't really have much money left like 2600 it's not a big thing and not a big budget because as you can see I still have to do floor I still have to do wallpaper and the exterior because I didn't really landscape at all and I don't know if I can do this with the budget we'll see I mean I know how this house turns out and you saw it but um yeah it's not it's not a lot but I actually love how this turned out I would like to live here um why not like living in a tiny room with a kitchen I mean I I think that the smell of food could be overwhelming because you cook right next to your bed so if you cook anything with garlic or onions or something that's really stinky it's gonna smell you know but you can still open up a window or the front door or whatever like it's just essentially one room it's everything in one but look you can also live like lay on your bunk bed and watch tv at night because that's just things people do right I would do that totally watch Netflix or something like that like that would be great and then I just decorated it um yeah there's no cc or anything in this there's only base game stuff and I'm really proud of it I try to use things that I haven't used in a while because I usually don't use base game stuff only you know decorations I like from the base game stuff but yeah there are a lot of things in the base game that I don't really like but I think it turned out cute should I do a video of the things that I hate in every pack or build thing things build things that I hate in every pack and stuff like that I think that that would be fun I don't know maybe I will but yeah on to the landscaping I really didn't know how to landscape because I didn't really want to disguise the entire room or the entire build I wanted to be able to see the triangle shape of the house I didn't really want it to cover up with a lot of like trees and stuff like that but I also wanted to look cute so I had to put some flowers in and some trees in and stuff like that to make it look cute so I did that and I'm sorry if that looks weird to you but it's not a lot of landscaping and I'm aware of that but I think it looks kind of cute so there's a, f a few flowers and there are a few trees and or one tree it doesn't really matter um, if you download this and you have a bigger budget you can for sure landscape however you want it to you know I just landscaped however I wanted to and however I felt like it and my budget you know was slim to none and so I had to landscape the way that I 
wanted to or the way that I could. Look at this. I have like 42 simoleons left. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe and comment down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye. <music>